be looking at the kinematics of a cable pulley system. We're going to approximate a frictionless pulley with this steel rod, and we're going to have a couple setups that we can show you the relationships between the velocity of this block and this constant velocity cart. The first scenario is a horizontally moving cart connected by a string to another cart hanging over a pulley. In order to derive the relationship between the positions and velocities of both carts, we first write the expression for the length of the string, assuming the pulleys have small enough radii to be negligible. Next, we assume the string is inextensible and will remain taut. That is, the length of the string will not change. We exploit this by taking a time derivative of our length expression, as the length side will be zero. The chain rule gives us a relationship between the remaining values, and we can predict the velocity of the hanging cart by the velocity and position of the other cart. The constant velocity cart will move to the left while we measure the position and velocity of the hanging block. We will then graph the velocity of the hanging block versus the position of B given by our length expression. We will now compare our graph to what our predicted values are based on our derivation. While the fit may not be perfect, it does follow the general trend we found in our derivation. The second scenario features two pulleys rather than just one, but is actually much simpler. Again, taking a time derivative of the length expression will give us the relationship between the carts. In this case, their velocity should be equal but in opposite directions at all times. In this test, the constant velocity cart moves to the left. It pulls on the string, and the other cart, whose position and velocity are graphed on screen, moves to the right. Notice that the velocity is relatively constant and in the opposite direction of the constant velocity cart. The largest probable source of error is that the constant velocity cart, while designed to maintain its velocity, may have slight variation or slip on the track. 